All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we're doing uh, my version of the annotated bibliography. Okay, and um, just we need to say a few things. Now, annotated bibliography is a list of sources, yeah, the summary of sources in alphabetical order, and uh, it's also it can also be included at the end of your research paper. What we've done in the interest of time is combine a bit of both, okay? Now, the purpose of the annotated bib is for, basically, for you to present the sources that you've read, the summaries of the sources that you've read, to a supervisor. Because in normal terms, yeah, and when you do your major, um, at the end of the, the, your, your time here at university, you will have, for example, if you're doing chemistry, your supervisor will be one of your chemistry teachers, and you have to present what you intend to do as a research. So what you do is you, you know the topic that you're going to d discuss, that you want to discuss, to research, and you present a list of summaries. We've done it a bit differently. We've started with the topic, and as we go along, we refine the RQ, because now that you've read the, your sources, many of you are coming to me and saying, oh, I need to refocus my RQ or change my RQ or modify it in a certain way. And that's exactly what should happen, okay? Because now you're seeing the gap in the wall that you need, to be, you need to be filling, correct? Okay, so the RQ does that. We've done it a bit of both because you already have the summaries and you have... Um, the comment, the anal and the critical comment that I've asked you to put, okay? How it's going to do. So, that is a list. The annotated bibliography is a list of all these. Going back to my analogy about the puzzle. Now that we've picked up all the pieces of the puzzle, is it enough for us to line them down one after the other in order to see the picture? What do we need to do? What do we need to do? Blend them, together. blend them together. Exactly. How? How do we put a puzzle together? You find the suitable place for every piece. Yes, the corner ones you put in the corner. What else? See what fits where. See what fits where. Yeah, look at the shapes and the contours. This shape fits this shape, so it must go together, and so on. So we have to fit all these pieces together in order to get a nice picture, correct? A comprehensive picture to the puzzle. Otherwise, it's just a list of pieces. Okay, this is what we need to do, and this becomes your literature review, when you fit all these pieces together. To take a completely different example of how we're going to go about it. We're going to switch completely. Let's say that we are planning a party. Yes? What do we need when we're planning a party? What do we need when we're planning a party? Please sit uh, anywhere and don't open your computer. We need lights, music, lights, music. What did you say? Drinks. Drinks? Food and drink, <laughs> invitations. Do you still do invitations in your day? No. How about messages? Online, yeah, WhatsApp mes messages, Facebook and WhatsApp messages. Yes, what else? What else do we need to, to have a party? What do we do uh, when we're planning a party? Decorations. Decorations, yeah, what else? Games. Games? Okay. You need a place. Yeah, we need to decide on a place. So, in correct terms, a venue and, of course, time and day. Yeah, we have to set a date and a time for the party. What else? Is that it? Do we have a party yeah, like this? How will we put, put the party really? The Do you always put? No. We, we don't always videotape the party. What, do, what are we missing for the party, you guys? Hey, people. Yes, we're missing people. No, you can send out invitation, and if, if no one comes to your party, you don't have a party, do you? Huh? 
Of course not. Okay, are we done? Is that all? Do we need some organization? Yeah? Okay, we need to, to organize. What else? Anything else? Or are we more or less done? For safety? I can't hear you. Let's pretend the party is with us, okay? So we don't need bodyguards so much. And then we have you, Ziad, come on. We have all the guys here, don't we? We have all the bodyguards we need, don't we? Okay, <laughs> girls. Theme. Theme, yes, we need a theme, correct? So for example, we'll have a black and white party, or a Halloween party, or a eat party, or whatever, okay? So we are, so far we are done. Now, link this party organization to your research. Link it to your research, to what you've learned so far about research. Uh, place, Absolutely. Here you have Kairos of time and place, of course. Okay, what else? Your theme is your research question. Your what? Theme. Your theme is your research question, yes. Your topic and your research question, yes. Lights, music, decorations are And lights, music, decoration can be? Indentation. They can be what? Indentation? Um, no. I think they're kind of the literature review along with Fonts? the organization. I can't hear both of you together. Fonts? Fonts? Um, no. The people, the, the people are the audience? Yes, they can be the audience. Can we say the invitation is also the audience? Yeah? Because you're deciding who you're going to invite. We're going to invite so and so because she's fun. We're not going to invite so and so because he's always after the girls and they get upset. Yeah, we're going to invite so-and-so because he's really good with security when there's a problem. Okay, so where are the invitations and the message? We can also say audience. Okay, what else? The organization or the summary, like the, the people we have the information from. Sources? Yeah. Can they be sources? Organization of sources? <coughs> yes, we could. Or literature review. Or literature review, exactly. All right. What, what else? Food and drink are the sources. Food and drink would be what? Sources. Sources? Could they be sources? Methods. Methods. Yeah? How are you going to have the party? You're going to have food. You're gonna, how are you going to bring people? How are you going <laughs> to entice them? So we can say this is the method. The methods used along with games. Yeah? That's another method. Okay. Anything else? Lights, music, decoration. How about we say this is the background? Hey? Mm, yeah, the background. You remember in the introduction you had to give some background about your topic? Yeah? So we'll say background. Okay, background info, which goes with introducing the theme. So if you come in and you find it all decorated in Halloween stuff, you are introducing the theme, aren't you? Okay, so how about this? See, even planning a, a party is actually a research question, isn't it? Yeah? What is the purpose of the party? Maria, what's the purpose of the party? Celebration. No, not really. Usually, what is it? Celebration is a good word. Yeah, it's a general word. Celebration, yes. What else? Entertainment. Entertainment, yes. Okay. What is the value of a party? Bring people together. Bring people together. Do you agree? Yes? Which is always higher. Remember, the value is always higher than the purpose. Bring people together. Yes. Shall we, can we say like a human connection? Yeah? Human, I can't write that high, connection. Okay. All right, human connection. Now that we have everything settled, and it's the day of the party today, now, we have the decorations, we have the theme, we have the people, I've sent out invites, everybody's come. We have music in the background. Yeah? Do we have a party? Once the people are there, yes. Hey? Once the people are there, yes. Really? So you are all now here. Is this a party? It depends on the spirit. Mm, so what, what do we need to have a good party? Greetings. Greetings. And? 
And what? Approval to the party party? No. Enjoy. How do we enjoy? Yes, but how do we enjoy? People dance. People dance, so they're connecting. What else? Do they only dance? Talk. They talk. They interact. Yes, we don't have a party if we don't interact. We have Aza, don't we? Yeah, we can have everything like this, and nobody's talking, and nobody's interacting. So we have a funeral instead. But what is the 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 the, the characteristic of a good party? is that when everybody has met everybody else, has interacted with everybody else, yeah? And you go away feeling you have connected. You have met new friends, you have met old friends, you've had a good time sharing, interacting. Yes or no? Isn't that what a good party is? God, that was really good. Think of the parties that you've been to, yeah? They're boring when there's no interaction. So the interaction is the literature review is what brings the literature review together. This is why when I wrote up um, people, I didn't write up friends. Because friends in a party is a clique. Yeah? And they are separate. But when you say bringing people together, they're all interacting and connecting. This is the basic difference between the traditional annotated bibliography which is just a list of invitations, and the literature review, which is the interaction that goes on between all the people invited, all the sources, the speaking to each other of all these sources. Yeah? And so what does this look like in a party? If I'm the hostess and I'm a good hostess, what do I do? I come to Mustafa and I say, Mustafa, I know you like horseback riding. Did you know? that she also is an excellent writer, come, let me introduce you. Hey, and what happens? They start talking together. And then I go and I go to, to Sandra and I say, Sandra, you speak French, don't you? Yes. Oh, you know, uh, Heidi and Fatma here speak French, come. And they talk. And then maybe Maria is going to hear that they're speaking French and she's going to join that group. And little by little towards the end of the evening, if I'm a really good hostess, and people start communicating, then maybe Mustafa will end up speaking with Maria who speaks French, and they're discovering, discovering yet another interest that they share. And by the end of the evening, a really successful party is that you've connected with everyone, and you've interacted, found new interests, found new common parts, or found that you and somebody else are total opposites as well. Yeah? And that's what makes your party. Okay? And that's what we're going to do. Now, how do we do it in terms of academic writing? How are we going to put all your sources together? Halas, this is an introductory example of what it is. Now, let me show you the steps. And I need my colors. All right. So, step one. And this is what I will be wanting you guys to do for Thursday. Yeah, uh, sorry, for Monday, next class, I want you doing what I'm going to show you today. I'm going to use this as my paper, as the paper that you are going to bring in uh, with, your, um, with your ideas and your three steps. So step one, I'm going to use this because I need the whole board on the other one. Step one, Sandra, let's choose you to, as an example, um, what is your RQ? Can you... Speak loud, please. Is the government responsible for the idea of that youth or the other teachers or the education or lack of education? Okay, so hers is al tar which, by the way, has a different name in Arabic, in classical Arabic. Did you know? My husband told me, but I forgot, but I have to ask him. Anyway, we need to check that. Okay, so tar you all know the idea of the tar in, in, in Egypt. Whether it is the government's responsibility or lack of education, or lack of education. OK, so this is what we do. What is your first source about? Um, yeah, Maria. Yeah, Sandra. The idea of crime. Crime. Crime, so what about crime? Give me a, a very brief summary about your source one. So crime rate, 
uh, and you want to decrease worldwide. Okay, what's your source number two about? Uh, number four, I think it's both about education. Education and what? Effects. Education and effects. On what? <laughs> on society? Yes. Okay, and effects on society. All right, what's your source number three about? <coughs> Pick it up. Look, open up your turn it in and find it, yeah? Okay, tell me another one. Fourth one? Fourth? The third or the fourth? The third was about education and what? Okay. What was the fourth one about? Quick. Can we pause? Okay, all right. And five. Do you see what I'm doing, you guys? Huh? Yes or no? Am I talking to myself here? <coughs> I am talking to myself? No. So, do you understand what I'm doing, yeah? A mini summary. You need to know what your t sources are about. Okay, Sandra. Relationship of crime and ed. Okay. In where? Worldwide? Specific to Egypt? Okay. Anything that is specific to Egypt, tell me. All right. Number five. Um, the characteristic of crime is to spirit. The what? The idea of crime. The concept of crime? The reasons why people commit crime. <laughs> why do people kill? Why do people commit crimes? Why do people... Wow, that's a very wide topic. Commit crimes. Okay. Any any focus, specific focus that you can remember? Uh, I think it was about uh, logical reasons. Logical reasons. Okay. Ecological reasons? Psychological, Psychological reasons. <laughs> Ecological reasons. Okay. Psychological reasons. What's your source number six? programs to reduce feuds and crime. Okay, what's your source number seven? Uh, it was in Upper Egypt. Upper Egypt, yes. okay. Blood feuds in Upper Egypt. Blood feuds, okay. Blood feuds. What's number eight? That's how well I see that you've read, how familiar you are with your sources. Some of you will have to read your own again. Yeah? And that would be a good idea now that you know how to read them fast. You can reread them really fast. Huh, Sandra? Uh, um, the eighth is about uh, who is responsible. Responsibility of what? For blood feuds? Yeah. For blood feuds. Okay. Nine? Revenge. What? Concept of revenge? Yeah. Concept of revenge. Is this also another psychological source? source? Huh? No. no. Social? Psychological? What? Okay, you need to think about that. I'll see that again. All right. Ten? In Egypt? Yeah. Okay, so Egypt, effectiveness, effectiveness of campaigns, campaign, why am I not spelling this right? Campaigns in Egypt, in uh, effective or not? Ah, oh, I've written it, of campaignings. Okay, 
against is what I wanted to write. Against tar. OK. All right. This is step one. Now we go to step two. Now that we know what our sources are, and remember, this is why I asked you to number them. Remember? I wanted you to number them so each one has a, a, an identifying um, thing. OK, now we go to the interesting part. And in this is your big piece of paper. You're going to add three, four pieces of paper, glue, stick them together so you have as big as you can. And we're going to fill it together. So your RQ is, again, what? Blood feuds, tar, or blood feuds in Egypt, yeah? Blood feuds in Egypt. Who is responsible? Government or education, lack of education? This is your research question. All right. Now we are just going to do a brainstorming activity. And I want all of you to participate, all of you, including you, Sheheb, and I don't need you looking at your computer screen. Yeah? All of you are going to help, and we're all going to just put ideas on, ideas and comments and, 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 and just what you think about in relation. So start us off, Sandra. What's uh, uh, one of the topics that you're thinking about? Or anyone? Yeah. Don't forget the educa links for now. Just, just let's put ideas on. What are you saying? I don't understand. Is education the government's responsibility? So is education a thing we need to think about? Yes, sir. yes of course. OK, so education. <coughs> All right, what else? Huh? Why, why crime? Why can? So why do people seek revenge? So why is there revenge or tag? Revenge, maybe, because you can, you can venge your, you can find revenge in a different way than tag. Okay. So why do people seek revenge? Why do people seek? Revenge. OK. What else? And then we have Tag is one form of event. Yes, Hind. I think that government wants the upper Egypt to be ignorant, so they need the ignorance of the Egyptians. Yeah. Because they are going to be the ones. So ignorance, can we put ignorance next to education? So it's the government that's not we, we're not looking for reasons for the moment. OK, but later on, yes. Can we put ignorance? Social what? Yeah, I mean the social, um, structure. structure? Um, yeah, the social structure, how it's related to... Uh, how is it? How is it related to the to talk? Um, Traditions, Traditions of Upper Egypt, yes. Traditions of Upper Egypt, Upper Egypt, yes. What else? Uh, the culture. The culture, OK. Can we link it to social structure? Yeah, maybe the religious... Culture, religion. OK. So are we talking about free choice or tradition? Where we have tradition? Here. So free choice or tradition? Free choice or tradition. OK. What else? We'll think about the relationships in a minute. Yeah? What else? The what? Type of government that we have in Egypt? OK. Type of government? Is it the government that enforces laws into people's lives, or is it only uh, responsible for maintaining the, like the, the country and the people's lives? Being maintaining status quo? Could we say maintaining status quo? Absolutely. Maintaining status quo. What else is the role of the type of government that we have? Hey? Military. Military? Uh, yeah, I don't know if this in, is involved yet. I just think that the military government is, um, is led by power and power or 
So power? power. So power. Where should we put power? Power. Let's put power here. Let, and then we'll think of the links later. OK, power. OK, what else? <coughs> what about the definition of tog? Yes? Yeah. I think we need a definition of tog. Probably here. Yeah, just above definition. Definition and background of tog, don't we? Yeah. Background of tog in Upper Egypt. OK. Loss. Hey? Loss. Loss? Yes. Loss. Explain a bit more. Loss of life, yes. Loss of lives. And okay. Psychology of what? Psycho. Can we say psychology of victim and perpetrator? Yeah. Perpetrator. Yeah. What do you think the psychology would be? So would they feel? Appeased, for example, we're talking about tog and taking revenge. Would they feel peace after they take before. their tog? Yes. yes. After or before? So, do we have an after and before? Maybe, <laughs> maybe we need a before and after. That's a, an interesting before and after. Okay. Like what? Is it after or before? What's the movie? Asko from Moscow. Asko from Can you write that down, Sandra, so you can use that as a, a reference? Yeah, you can watch that movie. So, um, shall we put here movie? Yeah, I don't know it. Movie. So uh, Sandra will remember. Okay. So after. So before is what? What? What are the feelings? What might be the psychology? I messed up on the spelling today. My my <laughs> my spelling is all over the place. Anyway, psychology, you know what it means. Huh. So, after, what kind of a psychology are we talking about? Uh, well, you tell me. We said victim and perpetrators. Is this in the victim? Of course it is. So, what would the victim, can we have victim before, after? So, do they feel when, once they've taken revenge, is it good or bad? It's what? They feel pleased. So pleased. Hmm. OK. And? Pleased. Everybody agrees? Peace. Peace. At peace. OK. What else? Yes. So where does the law fit in here? Uh, yeah. So ignorance is ignoring, ignoring rules of law. You agree, you guys? Yeah? This goes next to type of government. All right, we're beginning to make links. This goes next to types of government. Ignoring the rules of law. Yeah? Because Theoretically, the government enforces rules. Why is it not going that route? Why do we have tag if we have rules of law? Because we don't what? It depends on the type of government. If it's but right now, let's, I mean, let's talk about the government we've had for the past six years. Trust. So where would we put the trust? The relationship between the, the, the people and the government. Do we trust this? Uh, yeah? So trust. Justice? Yeah. Where would we put justice system? Uh, Let's put a system of justice here. System of justice. Exactly. Do we trust? So here, you, you have a, a, an important link, yeah? We'll use a red pen because I think this is an important link. Does the, do the people trust the system of law or not? Do they trust the enforcement of governmental laws or not? We link what? What to? Yeah, the laws and the system. Come and link it, because I link. Anybody who finds a link, get up and link. But explain it. I'm showing you when you Ex talk, talk over here. 
the system of just you always stand next to me so you can use my mic as well. Oh, okay, so this <laughs> the system the system of justice you enforce laws by using the system of justice. It enforces laws by using the, the system, system of justice. They're either both link, they're enforcing laws and system of justice is almost the same thing. Can okay, you do you agree? Yeah, all right, thank you. Any other, any other connections that we can make? Yes, Shaheb. What about that, the, the dilemma of, uh, of retribution between the families? Okay, nice. Where would we put retribution between families? Can we put it here? Would it be a psychological thing? The victims and the preparators. So, system of ret what did you say? System of retribution. Dilemma. dilemma of dilemma of retribution. Retribution, which means what actually? So you have an endless cycle, a vicious cycle of victim and perpetrator, and victim and perpetrator and victim <laughs> and perpetrator. All right. And then? Ignoring that it's a, a justice system and... And it's ignoring the law. The, oops. Ignore, ignorance. It can be an ignorance of the law, and it can be a blatant ignoring the rules of the law. Yes. Okay. What else can we say? The origin. Very good. Where would we put the origin of such... Uh, Maybe around here? Structure. Yeah, around structure. So the origin of tag, origin of um, idea or concept of concept of tag. Also, I think we should link religion to Of course. Okay, the origin of the concept of tag, which was, is going to be linked to this. And where is religion? Religion to both. Okay, and religion and, and this. How is this linked? Through what story in the biblical tradition, at least, the, the, the Abrahamic religion of Christianity, Judaism, and, and Islam? What is the, the link of the origin of this? They do. And nafs bin nafs and? Yeah? What, what was the first crime in uh, religion with a capital R? Qabil wa Habil, Cain and Abel in English. Yeah, the, 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 the brother killing the other and Cain and Abel in, um, in English. Cain and Abel, yes. Okay, so we can link this. And you, somebody said we link religion and something else. And law, why? Because we have the Sharia law, uh, rules of law. Shall we link it here, or system of justice? Both. Rules of law, and I'm going to cross this. System of justice. Oops. System of justice. We're beginning to get very messy, and that's the idea. Okay? So system of law, and this is the Sharia law that we are um, also following. Okay? And the Sharia law forbids it. So what is happening when religion forbids it, and yet tradition enforces it yeah so what is the what is the the conflict between religion okay so here we have forbidding forbids and tradition what did we say encourages it what did we say enforces it enforces it almost not it goes beyond the acceptance remember the um, the Ramadan musalsal um, of Taya, yeah. Remember, the mothers enforce it in Tamish Ragil, right? In Tamish Hatiba Ragil, Ana Machaliftish Ragil, and so on, because Taya did not want to go through. And remember, the other mother of the friend, I forget the lady's name, um, the one who was Taya's friend as they were growing up, the mother of that lady, she was pushing so much for for the Tag, yeah, even though she had already lost a son. So. Um, enforces it. Okay, and then wh wh what did we say we would link this to? Somebody said. Who was it who said we need to link this to somewhere else? I think we should link it to education. You can link it to education. What? Tradition? Religion? What? 
Okay, so you can link it to psychology. Well, I think so this point, yeah, we can link to, where is psychology? Psychology, we can link it to, what did we say? Education, education absolutely. <laughs> we can link it to education. I should have just gone straight. <laughs> okay, you can link it to education. What else? Okay, so you, what, where would we put that concept of letting your instincts lead you? Power. 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 Oh, maybe, it that's interesting. That's interesting, so, led by instincts? Led by instinct? Killer instinct? Yeah? Can we call it killer instinct? Okay. Why should they need to feel power so by killing? Why? Why can they not? What's another way of feeling powerful? If you have been wronged, how would you feel powerful? Is tag the only way, revenge the only way of feeling powerful? Exactly. Yes? And that's very important. So the feeling of power should come from, where is it? From the enforcement of the law. Shouldn't it? Should be the government, how do you say, um, giving you your rights or, or, yeah, getting you, bringing you, giving you your rights and giving you, um, redressing, 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 it's called redressing your um, slight. I have to think of a better word of saying this. Why are you saying this? Yes? But there is no trust. There is no trust, is there? Because theoretically, you should be getting your rights through the system of justice. Does this answer that question or not? That, we, that was previously, yeah, you can use this as an answer to this. Why do they seek revenge in this way? In Tav only. And that brings to the, back to the uh, origin of the, of the concept. So what happened that let people go and, and get the right on their own, yeah. the disregarding the system uh, of justice? And what kind, exactly. So what does that do? So linking this to, what did you say, Ala? The, the origin. So we'll link what? Why this, why, why because uh, to this, exactly. Any other, any other thoughts about all this that we can? Comparison. Hey? Comparison. comparison with what? Uh, between, for example, Upper Egypt and uh, Northern Cairo, for example. Uh, uh, through your reading, Sandra, is there a comparison between people in Upper Egypt and Cairo? Would that be an interesting comparison? Well, clearly in Cairo, like, no one, like, mm, no one <laughs> maybe it's a, a strong word. What happens, the system of justice um, should be for all, but we have Cairo and Upper Egypt. Yeah? I think it has to do with the divisions of both. What happens in a city as opposed to the big city, as opposed to um, the traditional reef. What's reef in English? Countryside. Hey? Traditional rural areas. Yeah? Can there be a, a difference? What happens in the big cities usually? Maybe at one point, but I don't think now, lately, remember? Money, place, money? Would money make a difference? Yeah. Who's richer? Upper Egypt is infinitely more rich than Cairo, actually. <laughs> hey? You know what? Sorry, I, money does affect it. 
but in so here we have money maybe we need to you need to um, research the money the economic situation in Upper Egypt as opposed to the poorer yeah but poorer but more jobs maybe I don't know why do people come why do people migrate to to cities usually job opportunity isn't it poorer so they're seeking jobs yeah job seeking of course educational opportunities it's true in Egypt most of it is not it needs improvement but as a rule educational opportunities in Cairo are better than the ones in the rural areas when they're new professors or prof teachers that they want to yeah they send them off to little so-called less important okay so less uh, what's the word I'm looking for less qualified less experienced teachers are sent to the al-aqalim yeah less experienced teachers which means more ignorance so that does that play a role here they have more ignorance but more money here <laughs> what does money confer what does money give you, you guys? Knowledge. Of course. Money gives you, do you see why you need a big piece of paper? Money gives you power. Power to do what? Whatever they want. Whatever they want. So if a family needs to pay off somebody, they will. Yeah? What is one of the major economic um, one of the major businesses, I would like to say, of Upper Egypt. Drugs. Hey? Drugs. Drugs. The drug trade is extremely important. Yeah? Sorry? Okay, so here you have s smuggling weapons, smuggling weapons, and drugs. Drug trade. When you have a lot of money and drug trade and weapons, what do you have? A state within a state. Yes, yes or no? State within a state. So who makes the rules? Huh? Come on, guys. Who makes the rules? They break the rules. So you see how you can link this all? All right. The one thing that, uh, apart from the culture, they have their own judicial system, if I, uh, like, Adat al Arab. So they get to finish the whole situation together. Maybe both families to settle down with a certain amount of money in order not to seek far. And again, it's an ignorance of the justice system of the country. Yeah. Do you agree? Yes. Yeah? Establish their own <laughs> there is the 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 el, el umda. yes exactly yeah which is all about what's it called the uh, gizira yeah another movie Sandra another reference to to al gizira movies And Nisri Saeed, exactly, and Nisri Saeed, exactly. Okay, and Nisri Saeed. And so, and, and this is a self-perpetuating thing. And so there is a social structure that is typical of there. And then, I would like to add something for, your, for, your, for you to think about. What is the role of women in Tag? What is the role of women in Tag? Because oftentimes in the media, they portray it as the mother being Usil Fasid. Shashira Fam. She's the one who is always pushing her sons to be men. 
Yeah, the idea of masculinity, the idea of society, the idea of you know the big umda with his, with his, um, with his uh, what's it called? With his uh, not his whip, el, el stick. That all right? So much so that even me, with my own very open-minded and equality of, of sexes and everything, when I saw El Gizira, my first thought was, how come they can choose Ahmed al Sa'a to be the Umda? Ahmed al Sa'a. <laughs> yeah? So, <laughs> so this is the, where would you put the role of woman? Women? Above everything. Above everything? <laughs> yes, above. And at the beginning, there was woman. Huh? As an emotional drive, I think a, social a social structure, role of wo role of the mother, woman. of women, yeah, role of the woman, yeah, yeah? of the woman, uh, it'd be interesting. And also, what did you say? Social structure. She is. Why do you think women? That's interesting. Why do women? I mean, aren't women givers of life? Why? How can they become givers of death? They've experienced, yeah. they've experienced it? Yes. The more powerful the husband or the child is, the more safe they feel. That's a very good point. The more powerful their hu they make their husband and children, the safer they are. They but become... They actually discourage them from committing such crimes. Why do they? Do they? they might okay, so, so do they discourage or encourage? This is a question that we need to find an answer to. Do women? Hey? Yes. So they want to prevent any harm from, uh, for them? Any change. Yeah, they want to maintain the status quo. Yeah, yeah they want to make. But you see that this can be a conclusion, Sandra? Yeah, write this down as a conclusion to your, re a possible conclusion to your research. Because that would actually, the role of women and why, would be the second brick, another brick placed above your own research. Do you see? This is, and this is a very good ending, that your research um, leads to yet another area of research, sort of related, but a bit different, and that be the, 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 the change. Okay? All right. Now, let's go through my last and third step, otherwise we won't have time. So, Sandra, let's plug in your sources. What goes where? Oh, sorry, before we do that. Let's, let's, um, we need to decide which are going to be your subheadings, okay? Guys, let's all decide what would be a subheading. So one of them is going to be, well, the first, the definition, I guess. Yeah, definition of talk. All right, why and the background. Can we link the background to uh, culture? Yeah, so you're going to put culture here. So do you have a, what source talks about culture in Egypt and identity? Huh, what? Come on, guys. We've got the definitions. Come on, come up here. Tell me. So, responsibility, for example, for blood feuds. Can we put it in women? Yes. Okay, eight. And? Psychology of concept of social revenge. Hey, five here. Okay. Dilemma of retribution, concept, concept of revenge, nine. Okay, what else? Education and its effects. Where is education? Camp. Three. Three and two. And two. Okay, what else? Crime rate. Crime rate. Mumkin loss of lives. Mumkin loss of lives. That's number what? One. One. Okay. Um. Form of government. You have nothing about the form of government in Egypt, do you? Uh, I think. 
that's what number? Number six, and you need another one. Yeah, you need another one. So we'll put a question mark for you to look for a source that talks about the type of military government. Justice, do we have system of justice? Okay, so maybe this one and this one will be the same. Yeah, you can use for both. Okay, what about uh, traditional big cities? Blood feuds in what, what number? Seven, okay, and then let's check that we have all of them. One, two, three, four. Where is four? We need four. What's your fourth source? Relationship between crime and education. Relationship between crime and education. So four here, and crime. Where is crime? Why do people seek revenge? Yes, maybe. Four, okay. So this is four also. And then five we have here, six, where's six here? Seven, eight, we, we're missing eight, no, we have eight, nine, and 10, where's 10? Campaigns against? Campaigns can go against the social st structure as well, can't it? And education, where's education? And education? Yes, you can have four or three, or you will decide what. Okay, let's go through and see what topics, what headings are we going to have. So, what is the most important heading in all this? For talk. Education. education would be a education and government. Yeah? Okay, so we'll put it in a square box like this. Education and government. Yeah? Or why do people seek revenge and then you can have because the government, because the education, because, yeah? I think this would be also a, uh, an important case. We'll put this in square. So we have now one, two, three subheadings. Psychology. Yeah? Shall we put this? Because under all this comes, you see it, it sort of, it shows, doesn't it? Because it's the one that has a lot of links. Okay. Anything else? Maybe what would social structure and tradition come under? Would it come under education? Would it come under psychology of victim, system of justice? I think it comes under or is it separate? Do you think so? Or would you like it to be a completely yeah. separate? It could be a completely se separate thing. Social culture. Okay, social structure. And culture? culture this is specific to Egypt, so specific to Upper Egypt. And that's where we can link the, the, the comparison between Upper Egypt and, and the, the, the Cairo of the coastal cities. Ah, very good idea. Okay, so we're linking this. And what did you just say? We can link this to? Comparison between this and all the way up here, the comparison. Yeah, so comparison. Okay, so now we have certain headings, yes? Give me, um, all right, so now, can we? <laughs> yes, of course, I do these every time, okay? But do you see the level of depth that we are now beginning to see? And it shows you other areas that you had not noticed before, other areas of, of research. You can see the trends now. You can see how things fit together now. Yeah? And this is a very good way of doing it. When you do yours, I want you involving your whole family. Sit down and say, Pa, when I tell you about X, what are you thinking of? And just throw them on the paper. And then make the links. These are the links that you, as a researcher, make. If you find these links ready-made in a paper, it's plagiarized. It's already been done. Okay? These are the links that you make. All right, now we're going to actually go into step three, which will give you the actual outline to the literature review and bring everything together. So, we'll have an introduction, which is what? 
which is nothing but your refined initial proposal with the RQ. You have it done, almost done. All right, read me the, the th bits in the boxes. Come on, guys. Anyone, read me the bits in the boxes. In any order. Hey? So education. Hey? Definition. Definition of TAR. Of, of TAR and background. Okay. What else? Social structure and culture. Why seek revenge? Okay. Psychology, psychology of victim and perpetrator. Perpetrator. Anything else? Do we have any other squares? All right, let's decide. Look, let's decide which comes first. Oh, I think obviously this one. Yes? So we'll put this into an A. Make this into an A. Your first subheading. Second. Social structure? Yeah? Yeah, you were okay with that, Sandra? This can be, you know. Okay, what? Three. This or this? What, what do you think? Why seek revenge? Yeah, so this will be C. And this B may be lack of education. Um, D. Okay, under education, where's the political? Do, do we have the political? Where would we put type of government? Under here, probably, yeah? Why seek revenge? Yes. Yes, so here we would have the, the psychological idea of, of what is revenge and the religion, maybe? The religious idea, uh, you're misreligious. Cain and Abel, what, why was there a desire, yeah? What, what shall we call it, the, whoops? The basic idea? Origin. Hey? Origin. Original idea? Origin. Origin, okay. Origin and? And why seek revenge? Why there is a justice system in the country? Okay, so here we will have trust in Judicial system, judicial system of country, okay, that can come under that. And then lastly we would have E, obviously, yeah? Okay, and then you will come to a conclusion of sorts later on, okay? Now what do we do? We add the source numbers. So education had source number what? Four. Three and two. Definition of tag. Definition of tag. We need a source for definition of tag. Yeah, you see how this shows you what you're missing? And this is why I told you you'd probably end up with more than 10 sources. Okay, so this can be just the accepted. Okay, social structure and culture. Four and 10. Why seek revenge? Four. And type of six? We have six and type of government, six? And you, and you need another one? Okay. Why seek revenge? Why seek revenge is also a psychological thing. Yes, yeah. yeah, so probably five also up here. Okay, psycho, oops, why seek revenge? Yeah, it sort of goes together. Maybe while you're writing this, you might decide to put these two together, which is fine. Okay, five, and then? And then? Four. We have four. So let's go. Where's one? We don't have one. Where does one go? Come on. Look on. Pick. Where does one go? Role of women. Where does role of women go? Social structure and culture? Yeah? She needs more, but she can link what she has here. Role of women. What about number one? Where, where are we going to put number one, you guys? Loss of lives. Definition of tar? One. Okay, one. And the, ex the question mark, and what else? Two, three, four, five, six. Where is seven? Seven is 
Dosho structure, seven, okay. Eight. Eight, eight is what? Role of women, eight, okay. Nine. Where's nine? Where's nine on the, on the big thing here? Concept of revenge, nine. Concept of revenge here. Yeah? Nine. Okay, and ten. What? Where? Social structure? Ten? So here? So ten. We've written it. We have. We've written it already. Okay, so, so 10 is already there. So we have now plugged in all our sources. You can see that you may be missing one here. You see, because you have very little on psychology of victim and perpetrator, and now this has become, as you can see, a major part of your, so you need to look for a couple of other sources on here. Can be a TED Talk. I think you will find good things on TED Talks, yeah? If you, if, you, if you look through this. And here you have the outline of your literature review. You're going to start with this and start, and then start with putting your definition, your source, the way you have it, the comments that you have for sources one, nine, and X. Yeah, the comments, the individual comments, you're going to put them into one part, and you're going to say, Darwish, 2018, for example, and Abbas, 2017, both X, Y, and Z, da, 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 da. yeah? And you, you combine your sources and your summaries into a very nice, synthesized literature review. What length is it? Don't think of length, just do it, okay? Because you have all your sources now, so it's gonna be at least as long as all your summaries, if not more, okay? For next class, I want the three steps, and I want to see this paper as complete as possible. You're going to come into class, you're going to discuss them with hopefully two or three of your, of your colleagues, yeah? I'm going to look at them, take pictures of them, steps one, two, and three. I need to see all three steps, and that is how I do my own version of what I call the annotated bib, which is not the traditional way that I've explained, yeah? But this is a practical way that will help you absolutely sit down and write it. Once you have a draft one, you will do a peer review, and draft two, we will have a conference together. And then I'll give you other, another little chart to help you synthesize your sources a bit better, yeah? Try thinking of a transition between each of these paragraphs, okay? These sections, sorry. Just a transition in thought, okay? And then when we actually come to write it up, we'll, we'll talk more about that. All right. Thank you for today. I know I had your attention for a solid hour and a half, and you were wonderful. You really gave me your full attention. Thank you. All right. Have a good one. <laughs>